Hi, this is Steve from the G Suite Tips team here in the UK, and you can find us online at gsuitetips.com. You can follow us on the Twitter, on the G Plus, and at YouTube. Today's video tip is to show you some features of Calendar, uh, and it's called the World Clocks settings. So right now I, I'm in the new calendar, as you can see, with the material design with a plus down here. And the feature I'm going to show you is only available in the new calendars. Um, just to show you here, I've got the uh, mini calendar, and then I could add a colleague's calendar here, but nothing in this zone here. I'm going to click on the settings menu, and then on settings. And here I am in the settings. Actually, first thing I'm going to quickly show you um, display a secondary time zone. This is the same feature that you could get in the previous old calendar. If I click here um, and turn that on, I can add a second um, time zone. So that's um, somewhere, I think, in uh, South America. I could have a look through here. Let's say Mexico City. Set that there. And I've got a second time zone. Settings are automatically saved. You may have noticed there. If I go back to the calendar, you can now see I've got my current time zone, which is GMT plus one, British summertime. And that is for Mexico City. So I can see quite nicely when I'm um, looking at my events, what the time is in that other time zone. But you are limited in this system to only one uh, other extra time zone. And so again, that's what you could do in the old calendar, and you can do it still today in the new calendar. Now, if I go back into settings and settings, you can see here on the left-hand side, I can zoom to the uh, particular piece I want. I want to show world clock, but just to show you, I can click here, and it will zoom me straight there. And if I turn this on, you can see there's a couple in there. I'll just turn those off. So I've got one time zone, which is my, um, my local one, which is the default. I can add one. So I'm going to go for... Let's go backwards in time. Let's zoom back. Where well, sounds exciting? Bogota, that sounds exciting. So minus five hours there, Bogota. I'll add another one. And we'll go forwards in time this time. So who's in the future? Um, Hong Kong. I like the idea of that. Let's put Hong Kong on. Okay. And you could add further time zones if you wanted to. And then my settings are automatically saved. So I'm going to go back. And this time you can see that the time zones that I chose are here showing up in the world clock section, which I've got turned on. The other nice feature is if I click somewhere, so let's click uh, here, which would be UK time around 3 p.m. Um, it shows me what the time is here in those different locations, which really is better than this uh, second time zone in the old style. I like this. And you can see I've got AM and PM uh, times there. Back into settings, and you can see how it combines. If I go into here and change time format to 24 hour, which might be a little bit clearer for this kind of thing, and then back again, you can see it's in 24 hour clock now. And again, if I just click somewhere on the calendar, I know what time it's going to be in the places that I'm, uh, I'm I'm tracking in my world clock. You can have as many of them as you like. I think usually I think three or four might be as many as you'd want. And that essentially is it. That's using the world clock. Um, via settings, popping back in again, clicking on world clock, turning it on, you know, and picking the picking the uh, time zones that you want. And I also showed you, you can have a secondary time zone, although I think now that's probably not that useful to use anymore. Much easier to have that there and my time zones here. So Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Don't forget to follow us at gsuitetips.com and the Twitter and Google Plus and our YouTube channel. Thanks again. See you on the next one.